cucumber seeds, we got uh, squash seeds, we got uh, corn, and we got uh, you know a couple of tomato seeds, and uh, you know then we got the the pork beans and the pigeon peas, right? And people are like, whoa, what's happening? Yeah, you know we really want to cause havoc here so that you know the neighboring grass doesn't invade. So this is the the idea. We want to cause havoc here. We want to plant havoc. Forget about sustainability. You want to enrich ecosystems. Every bean is equipped to live a positive energetic balance. Keep it pruned. We are cultivating abundance. Not a problem to cut down trees. The problem is not planting them. Hey, what's up YouTube and Agua Forest Academy crew. We're back here from Brasilia. This time not Situ de Jazz. This is Situ Cana do Reino. Uh, main man Bruno, my, one of our close friends here. Uh, just before we get right into it, you know, check out the Patreon, see what we're doing there with the Patreon crew, uh, some webinars, some Q and A's, and things, cool stuff for the people that do support the channel. And uh, yeah, so if you can support the channel to keep us bringing you free videos, the best of content, that's the best way to keep us, you know, supporting us and, and bringing the content to everyone. Cool. So let's get right into it. This is Bruno's house. Uh, it's really interesting because Bruno, he, you know, we met. He, he called me up, he wanted to buy a dishwasher, I was selling a dishwasher. He, you know, he never planted a, a plant before and he went around to my house and he saw all the agriculture and, and all the forests and fruit, food forests that goes on there. And he was quite impressed and he was like, wow, man, you know, I've got this plot of land really, really privileged by the city. It's really privileged right here where we are now. And I've basically been sitting here for a few decades where his family owns this. He's like, you know what, I feel like, you know, now my grandmother, she's passed and that. So I feel like to honor the, the place and do something, you know, treat the land correctly and things like that. So, you know, we were talking and he never heard of agroforestry, nothing like that before. You know, he just talking and then, you know, it was pretty, pretty simple to convince him to, you know, go ahead and, and you know, this is the way to go, basically. So he's, he's gone. <laughs> so it's obviously initial stages. Uh, here we're planting uh, coffee. It's quite simple agroforestry system uh, so that we can cover the most amount of area, you know, two, two hectares, two complete hectares of, of agriculture. And uh, with the budget that we had so that we can plant the full two hectares, we really, we, we chose to do a quite simple um, plot, basically. So it's basically uh, coffees you know coffees every meter and a half you know so what we've done here we've got every centi every 75 centimeters we've got a uh, a tree bed yeah for the for a seedling so every other one of those is a coffee right so basically we have coffees every meter and a half we could have the bananas we're gonna have a thousand papayas here we've got a thousand bananas we've got uh the so we're going for avocados and macadamia nuts uh, you know lots of eucalyptus you know some mahogany all right so things like that so i think i think that's about it that sums it up right and then you know obviously all the little stuff you know seed bombs and uh you know some corn pigeon peas tomatoes cassavas yeah things like that uh recently we had a comment on on, on an older video that we've done a plot similar to this where we had to use large tractors and uh I'm just gonna I'm gonna flip the camera around here. All right, and basically, you know, we had a question where people, well, aren't you supposed to have? Isn't it supposed to be the opposite? You know, like instead of raised beds, you know, isn't it supposed to be raised corridors? Sure, it is, and uh, it really is. And this is this is kind of horrible to see. You know, the kind of damage that these tractors does, and to, to, but it's just not viable. You know in a couple of days to get all of these things ready so we had the tractors to come in and and, and dig the beds you know for 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 the tree seedlings so we're talking about you know a good 5000 you know beds here so it's just not viable so we have to trust the process you know we do this damage initially to get the forest planted but we know that with the amount of organic matter that we're going to produce here with the bananas and eucalyptus especially uh we're going to be able to go ahead and you know fill in these these corridors and, and then you start working with, with the organic matter from the spot. We're unable to bring this much organic matter to treat a plot this big, uh, you know, in the situation that we're at, where we're at here. And we can even buy this organic matter. Uh, there's, there's a price to it. It's not, it's, it's not that cheap. 
uh, but even more expensive is, is the labor to come in and place it in the correct place so we, we've gone ahead and got some some organic matter for for you know just just for a ring around each uh coffee seedling so they planted this the, the other day a couple of days ago so i'm here I'm, I'm telling them you know let's let's reinforce that we want a little bit more around that you know we want a nice thick layer so here we're planting um we're getting a couple of tomato seedlings we we'll put some pork beans we're gonna put some corn we're gonna put some some squash we're gonna put uh the pigeon peas as well and some cassavas so yeah we're gonna cause a little havoc around each of these coffee seedlings and all other seedlings so you're gonna be following this this is the first stage this is like the 1.0 we've we've got the coffee seedlings in we still haven't got enough coffee seedlings you know we stroke a deal on a thousand two hundred plants here but we need two thousand plants but this we got we got this at a good price and they're nice and healthy so we've got to go ahead now and negotiate you know a few more coffee seedlings to close it goes all the way to the other side as you can see in the drone we got in about 10 days from now the banana seedling so things are arriving as they do um, it's just, it's just we're doing what we have you know it's just the process where we had to order the seedlings for the scale and it's just the process of having to wait for them you know to to be the good size so that they can come to the field but you know the boys are working one thing after the other obviously ideally you know you plant it all at once you know you plant all your seeds down you bring all the organic matter everything happens very quickly and swift but here things are going to happen you know from the first seedling to the last, it should be at least 45 days to up to two months because it's just the timing, the rainy season now and the timing of all the all, all the greenhouses that are preparing the seedlings for us. So we have to just wait, you know, and uh, it's all right because there's so much to do that we've gone ahead and, and we, you know, we're busy anyway. We're keeping ourselves busy anyway. So yeah, he's got a proper operation here, you know, uh, we got to do like you know, chicken pen and things like that. He's got to have a cow and, and a few things like that. So it's got to be some animal feed, some yeah, some some napier grass planted as well for for some animal feed. And down 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 past the house, he's he's building the house there because he's really gone all in. He's like, All right, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna move there, you know. So he's professional. He he makes houses out of containers, so he he's got that looked after. And by the valley there, there's a uh, there's a few water springs. He's got like three or four water springs that meet up and a nice little, you know, a nice little bit of water running there. So we're planting like an orchid, you know, around there with lots of variety of fruit for the family. So here we're keeping it quite simple uh, for the scale project. But down down by 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 the river there, there's, there's going to be some nice amount of, you know, varieties of trees. So let's have a quick pop there and, and see what we how, how we're getting on down there. All right, so here, you know, there's quite a lot of native trees going on around here. There's, there's a water creek down there. So, you know, this area here is gonna be really like an orchid, you know, with all the fruit trees. So we can see an example here, you know, what we've done. You now here's, there's a palm heart there, and then inga ice cream bean, right? Uh, so we've got a few, you know, just, you know, a few, a veg, you know, uh, this one leafage is similar to rocket, and uh, I don't know in English. Uh, he, he's like a lettuce, there's like a, you know, another herb, and we've got lots of seeds going on here. So here we've got um, cucumber seeds, we've got uh, squash seeds, we've got uh, corn, and we've got... Uh, you know a couple of tomato seeds and uh you know then we've got the the pork beans and the pigeon peas right and people are like whoa what's happening yeah you know we really want to cause havoc here so that you know the neighboring grass doesn't invade so this is the the idea we want to cause havoc here we want to plant havoc you know to protect you know the you know to give you know because this material here is going to evaporate really quick uh that we've we've just laid it just to give it an initial shade but you know we're really going to cause a lot of shade here with, with the veg and this is going to be his basically where he's going to come and pick his veg for the family so we've planted here 60 uh, beds like this with trees and uh, this is where he's going to come and pick his veg yeah so there's a few of them lying around uh, let, let's see where else where he's been planting 
as you can see here you know so here there's a citrus for example right and uh, yeah so he's got you know the veg there and you know the seeds have been planted all right we can see here where a pork bean already is trying to pop out get out the light there yeah nice nice green sprout there from the pork beans so yeah so as you can see the people are working and uh, there's a good 60 fruit trees around here so that all right so uh, this plot here I'm gonna be coming back right obviously showing you guys the progress on that okay so yeah you know any questions anything like that just hang in with us because it's really interesting when we see the progress of these kind of plots right so yeah in, in a couple of weeks or you know next month we'll be here again showing you how it develops but it's, it's really great seeing people you know just popped up you know we, you know with a little guidance you can really do it you know you know this guy he's never planted before he went to buy a washing machine he liked what he saw he's got land he cares for his land he wants to do something intelligent and already he's made his investment he's got to have his return we've made a very simple system where he's covered two hectares you know with a lot of potential for you know uh, monetizing and things like that you know with the coffees and the avocados and the bananas and the papayas all right so so that already and then the macadamia and then the long-term mahogany uh, and also you know medium term there some some timber wood from from the eucalyptus as well so that's basically it you know and we've left those corridors where we're just going to be harvesting the grass and feeding to you know harvesting the grass and feeding the tree lines really to give that tree line better conditions and then maybe next year we're thinking of coming in coffees in between where that grass is we'll give it another you know whole year of harvesting grass and feeding the tree line there to really make that tree line uh, healthy all right until until we can harvest banana and eucalyptus material so we're going to be harvesting this crop this grass initially okay so from the agroforest academy crew you know if you if you dig the video if you like the channel you know if you haven't yet liked the channel and you know activated the the, the bell because then you'll be the first to know you know we'll give you the new videos and you'll be like bing all right let's check that out and uh you know check out what we're doing with the patreon crew as well and we really appreciate hold tight to all the patreon crew and uh, yeah that's really kept us you know uh developing new projects and we're really excited about the the, the 2.0 next agroforest academy course we're going to be releasing for free here uh sometime next year all right so thanks for all that support as well so till next time <laughs>